Hi, I am Mystic Rose and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a card reading all about what are people realizing about you that you may not even be fully aware of about yourself. Okay, so it's going to be really in-depth and I'm going to be using channeling and tarot and whatever other modalities that Spirit calls me to use for today's reading. There's gonna be three different piles to choose from. You can choose using gemstones or images or a combination of both. Go ahead and go to the timestamps in order to make your selection. And if you start to watch a pile and it just isn't resonating with you, it's okay to go back to the beginning and to choose a different pile because that can sometimes happen with general readings. And as always, if you feel um, pulled or drawn to more than one pile, Feel free to watch however many piles you feel really drawn to watch because there may be multiple messages in there for you, okay? And if you are new, please remember to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to press that notifications bell so that you can be notified whenever I release new content. All right, let's go ahead and get started on today's pick a card reading all about what are other people realizing about you that you may not even be fully aware of yourself. Hello and welcome. This is your gemstone selection. So if you were drawn to Amazonite, you will choose pile number one. If you were drawn to Lapis Lazuli, you will choose pile number two. And if you were drawn to this Botswana agate, you will choose pile number three. If you need a little bit more time to think about it, you can pause the video. But if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started with today's tarot pick a card reading, all about what are people realizing about you that you aren't even aware of. Hello and welcome. So if you chose Amazonite or Image One, you're in the right place for today's Tarot Pick a Card reading. It is going to be all about what are other people realizing about you that you aren't even fully aware of yourself. And to start us off, I am going to just place some letter tiles here real quick. That will enable you to see if you chose the right pile by verifying that your initials are there, okay? I know a lot of people like to do that, so um, I'm going to go ahead and do that right up front, okay? Um, what I might do is pause the video, lay them out, and then um, just to be like a time saver, okay? Okay, let me know if you enjoy that little time saver. I just, what I did is I just pulled them out and arranged them in such a way that you'll be able to see what they are without having to wait for me to um, put them all down and lay them out like that. Okay, so now I'm going to roll the Astro Dice. So be looking for your initials or your um, first, middle, or last name in the tiles to let you know that this is indeed your pile, Okay. And then we've got Scorpio, Gemini, Scorpio again, and Virgo. So since we got Scorpio twice, I would like to roll again. Gemini again. <laughs> and Taurus. Okay, so you could have um, any one of these in your big three letting you know that the Sims is in fact your correct and true pile for you. So I know that many of you like those confirmations. Okay, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be... Um, Looking into this in great detail, all about um, what is it about people that they're realizing about you that you aren't even fully aware of, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to be calling in spirit. So spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number one collective all about what are people realizing about them that they're not even fully aware of themselves. Oh, wow, look at that. We have cards coming out already. I'll put those up here. All right, and um, I'm going to be using these as well. These are the um, Iridescent Classic Rider Weight. 
what I'm doing when I'm knocking on the cards is I'm cleansing the energies. Um, most of you know that already because you've probably seen other readers do that as well. All right, so I'm just going to lay the cards out. All right. And yeah, I'm going to be diving really deep into this topic. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun. It's always good to do these kind of um, topics where we investigate um, ideas or topics about ourselves because it, it can be very enlightening. It can be very eye-opening and it helps us to learn more about ourselves. All right. I always just shuffle until like <clears throat> I get the feeling to stop. Sometimes it's like a tingling feeling in my um, solar plexus or sometimes it's just like that little nudge from spirit that says, okay, time to stop. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I'm using several different tarot and oracle decks here. Um, for today's um, reading. Just one more here. All right. I think that should be good. Let's take a look now at what people are realizing about you that you may not even be fully aware of yourself. We've got the six of swords. We've got the three of swords. Lots of swords energy. <clears throat> Um, two of wands. We got the family, okay? We've got the treasure. That's such a pretty card. And then we got sovereignty. And then we got, ooh, we got blue. She who loved once. Fragile, secret love, rejection. <clears throat> And then we got Enid, she who doubts, fear, weariness, trust. Okay, this is starting to paint a picture already. I can already tell. Um, then we got Spark of Divine. Ooh, that's so pretty. I love that one. And then we got the Moon Goddess. Ooh. I'm in harmonious flow with the moon's energy in all phases of life. These are amazing cards. Two more here. We've got home. Oh, yeah. I can already tell. Dreams. Okay. Well, yeah. I can already tell that the things people are saying about you have to do with how much you've changed, you know, which, like I said, you may not even be really fully aware of this or realize exactly how much you have changed. Yeah, I think what's fascinating here is that these are all going together so well and painting such a beautiful picture of what's going on. People have realized that you've been through a transformation, you know. So, <clears throat> people think that you've been through something big, something that was either hard for you, okay, but that you're a survivor. You're somebody who gets over stuff really quickly, you're resilient, you bounce back. But also, people are realizing that, like, you are not anybody to mess around with. Um, people do realize it, that you're, like, a very giving, caring person. You have a huge heart. And a lot of people are realizing more and more that you may get hurt feelings easily, okay? And that you may put up protective boundaries to keep yourself safe and protected. Um, and that also, people are realizing that... A lot of the things that you have spoken about in the past um, were actually very prophetic. So you're actually somebody who is either like very psychic, maybe you're a tarot reader. I did see tarot here. Um, tarot really stood out to me right in the beginning. So I was thinking, oh my goodness, okay, this is like somebody who's who could very well be a fellow tarot reader. Um, Maybe people are talking about this. They're definitely, like, realizing that you have a lot of gifts, okay? You're very gifted psychically, but you get hurt very easily. And um, I'm not even sure if you were fully aware of that, that other people kind of, like, are aware 
that you you can be you know sensitive because you're very empathic okay um and you're very very in touch with your emotions and you're just a sweetheart you um people may even be realizing that you're very powerful and they could be thinking that you're kind of um witchy or into magic people do realize that like lately you've been pulling your energy away from people that um are pulling on you too much or who um maybe they have slighted you or like hurt your feelings in some way okay but people are starting to really value you as a person and see all your 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 gifts um there's people that i feel like that have realized that you were such a gift but they took you for granted because that is coming through people realize that like you're the type of person who's very giving very altruistic and like i feel like there's some people who are realizing that you know what you gave a lot <laughs> and they didn't give enough and there's people that are like oh crap you know i should have given more maybe i should have done this maybe i should have done that but yeah, people are starting to realize that, like, you have a lot of, um, intellect, okay? You have an ability to stay strong no matter what happens in life. You always seem to land on your feet and people realize that, okay? So that's what I mean, like, about the resiliency aspect coming in here to play is that you are so strong, my pile one. And a lot of people realize that, like, you know, it's almost like your energy is impermeable. Nobody can, like, really bring down your energies. They might try, but nobody can penetrate your, um, like, I want to say your energetic walls that you might have been, you know, building. So this could be for protection, self-protection, or self-preservation, <laughs> um, but you're definitely somebody that other people are realizing that um, if they hurt you and they lose you, it's a big loss. It's a really big loss because I do feel like there's at least like two to three, maybe even a friend group or something like that who has been out of your life for a while that has really has been kicking themselves in the butt lately for realizing that, you know, one, like you weren't messing around all the things you told them like if you told these people from your past whether it be family members or friends like things that you were dreaming about or like prophecies or like premonitions or um anything like that um or that you if you mentioned that you were talking with like deceased loved ones or you could see deceased loved ones like people are realizing that oh you weren't messing around or like if you said you were a tarot reader like, people are starting to realize that, oh, Pound One was not messing around. They really are gifted. Um, people also are realizing that, like, you're very stable um, in your mindset. Um, and with the stability, I think another thing that they're realizing is that you're very grounded and... Um, you're kind of a good mixture of like earthiness and spirituality and so you have like an artistic flair too and i see that people are really starting to realize how very gifted and talent you talented you are in the arts and in spiritual matters like i would say that you're very very gifted in those ways and also like many people are realizing that you're better off um like alone than with people that are toxic and bad for you so um people are seeing that you know you have this strength um and that your circle people are realizing that like your circle is shrinking or maybe that um you're getting rid of like toxic people i am seeing toxic um in the cards so i do think that you're moving away from toxicity and a lot of people are realizing that you're okay with that like you're okay to stand on your own like you really you only probably need like a couple of good friends you don't need a handful of uh bad friends that you know like are fake friends and stuff like people are also realizing that you're able to see through people's baloney and you can actually read a lot from people's body language and their eyes because you're very gifted naturally um like with this um second sight i want to say second sight 
you have like clairvoyance, you have um, detection where you can detect lies, you can detect baloney. That's what I mean. Like it's very, very strong. But I think that a lot of people might have doubted you in the past. But like now they're realizing that either you are perfecting your craft or something like that, or like you are gifted. You could be leading other people as well um, within your community. Um, but yeah, whatever it is that you're doing, people are realizing that you have a spark of divine, you know, wisdom within you. You were born with this. And some people like might have laughed about that or not believed you or thought that you were crazy, like literally crazy. Okay. But, um, I hope you believe in miracles pile number one, because, um, I see a lot of miracles happening around your life to you and spirit just brought that through for you that um miracles are happening in your life and just claim that and know that it's because of all of the things you've been through in this lifetime and past lifetimes that have actually brought you to the point where you are today um to the point where you've had an upgrade that's what spirit just told me you've had a spiritual upgrade and now you can open up yourself to all of these spiritual gifts that you may have even doubted in yourself fully before. But like you can trust yourself. And I think that other people are realizing that, that um, you are starting to really believe in yourself. And also I, be, I feel like some people have realized that like you may forget or shoot, I don't mean that. You may forgive, but you don't forget, okay? So you may forgive people in your heart, but you do not forget and you will keep moving on if somebody like upsets you. You're not going to sit there and give them like a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth chance to come back and like hurt you and break your heart over and over again. Like, no, and that's not how you operate. And people are realizing that, that, um, you know, you, you will move on. <laughs> okay. People realize, too, that, like, you might have been um, maybe a little bit stuck after a horrible situation in the past. But, like I said, like, you're moving on now. Um, you're not stuck. And people see you just, like, soaring into the horizon on your new path. And people are also realizing that you're on the right path, you know. Um, some people think you're distant. And some people may even be um, talking about you, saying that you're sad you're depressed. Um, I'm even hearing that some people may think that you're upset with them. Um, but honestly, like I see you just forging your own path and taking care of yourself, taking care of your loved ones and um, honoring yourself. And you are your own safe place. Um, and you have those who, you know, really truly deserve you all around you. And like I said, that may only be one or two people, but you are finding your people and walking with them. So, I mean, that's amazing. People realize too that you do make an amazing leader. I am seeing leader here in the letter tiles. Um, yeah, you're an amazing leader. Um, people also realize that you do have the capacity to be a wonderful example for younger people. So... I'm not really sure what you're doing because this is going to be different for everybody. But I mean, literally, like you're an example to younger people, especially spirit is saying. But actually, you could be an example to anybody. A lot of people do realize that you don't go by the book. <laughs> okay, you do things your own way. And I, I have to like give you a lot of credit for that because... I like your energy, my pile one. You you are a trailblazer. Um, I'm hearing that Frank Sinatra song, I Did It My Way. So you may want to look that up. It's a fantastic song. But yeah, um, it talks about independence and, and kind of like being that trailblazer and doing things your own way. And um, I do really think that people realize that, you know, because you've been through hell and back and you have to protect yourself so much. Um, and that you've got to learn how to, you, you know, trust your intuition and keep trusting that intuition and keep trusting yourself. And with all of this, you know, 
coming together like that in such a way people just realize that like yeah you're doing your own thing and it's so beautiful to watch you just blossom and bloom and people also realize that for some of you not for everybody that something about your parents maybe were actually not good for you or something is coming through or like um there's like a um i'm really like sensing like the presence of like a deceased family member for some of you like i said this won't be for everybody like a grandparent or something coming through that actually is on your side um that sees that your family tree of origin like the family you were born into may have been like a broken family and this deceased ancestor sees your strength and how strong you've been and how you know you may have even had to move away from these people these parents um who really were not very caring you know I don't want to trigger anybody, but I'm just delivering messages that are coming through. This is what people are realizing is that, you know, maybe you didn't have the um, most caring, loving, um, best, suitable parents for you. And you might have had to um, actually distance yourself from them, either energetically or physically. Okay, you could have actually even moved away. But people are realizing that <clears throat> you're really strong considering everything you've been through. And like I said, there is... A deceased um, family member like I said a grandfather or something like that who is really really proud of you for taking care of yourself okay cuz you <clears throat> you are showing yourself self-respect another thing is that people a lot of people realize that you always seem to know what to do in any given situation it's kind of crazy, but yeah, people realize that you like to solve your own problems. <laughs> All right, you don't necessarily like to seek out a lot of advice or tell people your deepest fears or things like that that bother you because you can be kind of a, a private person. And I do think that people see that about you and realize that about you more and more is that you're kind of a private person, you know? And maybe you like to just... um. I don't know, solve your own problems, but going within maybe like through meditation or self-help books or something like that. But like, I don't see you having to really rely on other people for solving your problems. And that's what other people are realizing is that you're extremely independent in that way. Um, maybe it's because in the past you've ha you've been surrounded by like people that were backstabbers or like fake friends or, you know, family members that hurt you in some way. So... Um, if that's the case, I could definitely understand why um, that would be, you know, the case. Um, and I would definitely would not blame you for that. But, <clears throat> and you know, sometimes it's good to go within and to be able to solve your own problems. And there is nothing wrong with that. It's very commendable. It's good to go inside and get the, the deep wisdom. Um, and they always say, too, like, the answer um, lies within, right? <laughs> So that totally makes sense. I was also hearing that like, um, people are realizing about you that you were serious when you were putting up boundaries. You know, you put up boundaries with people in your life and now people realize that you meant what you said. <laughs> okay, people are taking you seriously. Now I've got all of these cards here and I'm going to be picking some of these out because I want to know what people are realizing about you, okay? So this should be a lot of fun. What are people realizing, spirit, about my pile one? Whoa, that one just flew out. So... All right, that one's kind of sticking out. And I'll take that one as well. All right, so people are realizing that someone thinks, oh, somebody thinks that you are attracted to their partner or that their partner wants you. So somebody has actually realized that 
you know, your looks are starting to improve, whatever it is you're doing, you keep doing it. But there's somebody around you in your circle who's very insecure right now because they think that their partner or they've realized their partner is actually attracted to you, okay? Or they could be kind of paranoid that you like their partner, okay? Also, your standards have improved and you're not lowering your standards. Thank you so much, Spirit, for confirming that. I mean, that's what we've been talking about this whole time. So yeah, um, there's definitely, you know, talk about that, how people are realizing that your standards are really high and you don't take BS from people. And I have to say, I'm very proud of you, Pawan, for having these standards for, for, you know, what you can tolerate in people and what you can't tolerate in people. And you know what? Sometimes that takes a lot of guts and a lot of years to be able to get to that point and to implement it. So let's see what this uh, third and final thing is. Your sense of fashion makes you stand out. So people are definitely realizing that, you know, there's something um, interesting about your clothing choices lately and that that's making you stand out in some way, your fashion sense. Okay, so whether that be like something that you're doing with um, head wraps or some hair, hair, hair pieces, I want to say, whatever that means to you, that could be like, um, like clips or something you're putting in your hair or like little ex extension clips or I don't know I'm being shown several different things with the hair like bands lacy little bands or different things like that um to like you know maybe you're a type of person that normally doesn't wear dresses but you're amping up your femininity right now and like you're wearing more dresses to show your beautiful silhouette or something like that but like whatever it is that you're doing people are realizing that you have quite a good fashion sense about you and you're really standing out with your beauty. So of course, I think people are really, you know, terrified that their partners are going to be attracted to you. I mean, that's just, you know, when you have the body, the beauty and all of these wonderful things that go along with like who you are as a person. I mean, I could kind of see why people would get a little bit nervous um, with their spouse or their partner um, around you. But honestly, like it's not your fault. It's nothing you're doing. It's just people's insecurities, you know? So it's it's because of the degree to which you are very attractive and magnetic and um, you have a very powerful aura about you, okay? It just draws people to you. Um, so that is what I'm getting for you, my pile number one. I hope that you enjoyed. Please hit the like button if you did. And please leave me a comment because I would love to respond to you. And do be sure to hit that subscribe button too if you enjoyed today's reading and you're not yet a subscriber um and don't forget to hit that notifications bell also if you would like to be notified as soon as i release new videos so you never miss a video from me if you would like a personal reading i do offer those at very affordable prices please check out my um information about that in my description box below and if you would like to join my 18 plus uncensored patreon i do have a patreon all about 18 plus uncensored love readings it's only three dollars a month to join and you can cancel at any time you will have access to my whole entire library on there and weekly new releases Sorry about that. My phone rang when I was um, doing my announcement. So anyways, I was telling about my my Patreon. Um, yes, it's so you can cancel at any time. You get full access to my library and weekly releases. Um, <clears throat> so if you like uncensored readings, definitely check that out, okay? Um, and if you would like to donate to my channel... It is never, ever expected, but always appreciated. And um, what I do with any donations is I always put it right back into the channel by buying things like tarot cards, oracle cards, um, candles, and gemstones, and anything like that that I can use with the channel. So thank you so much for that. Much love to you all. Take good care. And until next time. Bye. Hello and welcome. So if you chose image two or this beautiful lapis lazuli gemstone, you are in the right place for today's pick a card reading all about 
what are other people realizing about you that you may not even be aware of yourself and to start us off i am going to be setting down some letter tiles here okay but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to pause the video lay them down and then i'll resume the video that way you don't have to wait while i'm laying them down i thought that would be a great way to save time let me know if you enjoy that okay and for now i'm going to pause the video and then it will resume okay here we go so what i have done is just uh i shook up the jar and then i pulled these out for you so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to roll the astro dice so go ahead and look for your initials or your first middle or last name here to confirm that this is your pile now if you don't see your first middle or last name or your initials that's okay because you might see one of your big three in here sun moon or ascendant letting you know that you chose the right pile. We've got Gemini, Taurus, Cancer, and Aries. So do be sure to, um, if you were drawn to any of the other piles, um, do be sure to watch however many you're drawn to because you may have more than one pile meant for you. All right, so Spirit, please be here now. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile number two collective all about what are people realizing about them that they aren't even really fully aware of themselves so far we've got the four of wands and the hermit and the high priestess all right these are wonderful cards so far i can tell that people could be talking about that you are attracting um, very attractive people that like you, like attractive partners, okay, or people, a lot of love offers, or people like wanting to marry you. Maybe you've been engaged at least once in your lifetime. People are realizing that you are marriage material for sure. People are realizing too that you have a lot of natural intuition with the high priestess there, a lot of natural gifts, okay. People are realizing too that like with the self-love card that you are, um, loving yourself you know you really are you're loving yourself and um being good to yourself life is being good to you too right now i just heard uh, people are realizing that you are starting new cycles we got the cycles card here and um it's funny too because i see the word spoil in here some people think you're spoiled by the universe that like you know, God loves you so much and like God's favorite, you know, that's what I was hearing is that some people are realizing that like you're very blessed. Okay. Ooh, we've got Colette. She who nurtures people are realizing that you you got a heart of gold. You are so kind. You're kind of like, um, old people. You're kind of young people. You're kind of animals. You're just very kind, you know, and a lot of people are realizing that, that you're not fake. Like, when you are nice to people, you're doing that out of the kindness of your heart, you know? Um, there could have been people in your past that wondered if you were being genuine, but now people are realizing that, you know what? You are very genuine. You actually are a good person, you know? And, um, yeah, people are realizing, too, that, like, you're very open. You're very receptive. Um, yeah, I'm seeing masculine here. So I'm seeing that whether you are a female or a male, you're also very in your masculine energy because you're also um, very assertive, but also you're very well balanced because I'm seeing a lot of femininity here too coming through. So it's like, whoa, <laughs> the scales. It's like, you know, the scales, I'm seeing an image of scales in my mind. Um, you could have Libra too in your chart very, very prominently. But, you know, you're very much like feminine and masculine both. Why do I say that? Well, a lot of the cards here that are coming up are talking about nurturing and like being really caring and like making people's dreams come true. Um, you're just the, a heck of a good person, a kind hearted person, so loving. And um, also yet I'm feeling very strongly too that you could be very much in your masculine and people are realizing that about you that, oh, you're not, you're not just a softie. You're somebody who is actually a go-getter too, you know. Um, you're somebody who shows initiative too, 
okay and that's one of the things that that's why people realize that oh you're marriage material like you know um because you got the best of both worlds you're everything you're intuitive you know you're introspective you go within a lot for like you know meditation reasons or like you're very illuminated i don't know somehow you're very illuminated with that hermit card um people also realize about you that like you don't need to have popularity or anything like that you're just a very happy person as long as you've got um your your nearest and dearest next to you and um if you're giving yourself that love and that nurturance you're very loving and kind to other people but i just was hearing from spirit like if people put you in a corner they realize that's a mistake like um I don't know why, but this was coming through really strong. Like, I was seeing an image of literally, like, people trying to, like, put you in a corner, like, proverbially, but I can't talk, proverbially, like, backing you into a corner or, like, putting pressure on you. And I think that people realize that if they do that, they're messing with the wrong person and they don't need, they shouldn't do that. People are realizing that, um, yeah, you don't care about popularity. Um, you, you, you don't care if you're the most liked person in the world. You know who you are and um, you have a lot of self-love and um, that's just really shining through right now at this point in time. Also, wow, you're very sensual and a lot of people are noticing your sensuality. Like maybe a lot of people, maybe they didn't see this before, but there's something about you where you're really standing out in a huge way, like with your sensuality. Um, it could be the way you're starting to dress or um, clothe yourself. Or it could be the way, like, a newfound confidence within yourself, but you could be, like, showing more skin or showing, like, a, a good physique here. Um, your body language is definitely saying, like, hey, I'm hot and I know it. <laughs> or I'm beautiful. You know, I'm getting the word elegant here. Um, you could be very, very elegant and graceful and just in, like, harmonious flow with, like, life, and that's really showing through and exhibiting with your body language and stuff like that, so it's, like, you know, it's really, um, I'm getting, like, a very soft energy, but it's also very empowering, so, like I said, like, even your sensuality is, like, a mix of feminine and masculine. It's very interesting to me because I don't think I've ever come across that kind of, um, vibe before, um, so, yeah, but you, your sensuality is both masculine and feminine, so that's very interesting. Um, so you're very giving with your sensuality, but also very open and receptive. That's so cool. I really like that. And like I said, like, I don't even know if I've really ever seen that as far as like a way to express your sensuality. But that could also mean that like for some of you, now this is not going to be for everybody, that you could be... Maybe you identify as, like, bisexual or something like that, or, um, you know what I mean? Okay? Or people may even be realizing that you are bisexual, okay? That just came through, too, that you are, you know, a woman attracted to other women, or you are a man attracted to other men, or something like that. Like, that's not going to be for everybody, but if you are, just know that there may be some people that are realizing that about you, okay? And I have chills right now, so I know that that, that is true, <laughs> And then we've got meditation and, oh, your own path. Haha, <laughs> I love it. I love it. So I don't know if you came from pile one, but if not, I do think there's going to be messages in there for you. So if you were drawn to pile one in any way, shape, or form, please do be sure to check that out because this is going to resonate with you. Um, I'm just, you know, seeing here by these cards that, like, with the hermit and the meditation, like I said, like you go within for answers. You don't constantly go to people and say, what should I do? What should I do? <laughs> you know, like you're very independent in that way that like you like to solve your own problems and stuff like that. Um, you can be very independent in your nature like that. I think that's another part of that balance with the masculine and feminine, feminine energy because you really do embody a healthy balance of both, which is great. I mean, that's ideal what we want. <laughs> All of us want to have that and achieve that healthy balance of both the masculine and the feminine energies within us. A lot of people are realizing too that like just in general, um, people are not gonna be able to tell you what to do, okay? Um, you're kind of the person that, you know, you call your own shot. <clears throat> um, and also people are realizing that, you know, you don't have too many friends on your level. You seem to be like, almost like elevated in some way spiritually 
um, especially, and maturity-wise. You seem to be very, very mature above um, a lot of the people that are surrounding you, and people are realizing that. Um, also, yeah, it's like people are realizing that you almost like don't even really need people in order to feel good about yourself because you feel good about yourself just naturally and you know how to give yourself self-love. Um, also, people are realizing too that like you don't need, you. it's almost like you don't need anyone to defend you. You know how to defend yourself and like take care of yourself, okay? Oh, a lot of people too are realizing that like, like I said, like with that marriage material, that you are the full and complete package, okay? And, um, they may even be realizing this too, that you're on your right, you're on your right, um, path and you are on your way to greatness, success. And you may not even realize it, but like other people see that like you could be destined for success. Okay. People are realizing too, that like you're really manifesting, you're really good at manifesting everything in your life. Um, they just see that like, it's like they think that things come easy for you, you know. That you just, you want it and uh, you get it. Like, people see that you have nice things, that you look good, you have that sensual nature about you, a softness about you, and your eyes look like just old soul vibes. So, a lot of people just look at you and they think that you have it all. Um, and they realize that, yeah, like, you just don't need to have, like, a whole bunch of people surrounding you being your cheerleader, but, like, you can be your own cheerleader and celebrate yourself. They're realizing that, like, you're celebrating yourself. So I'm hearing that song, This Girl Is On Fire. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I think it's just called Girl, This Girl Is On Fire, but I'm not sure the exact name. But you may want to listen to that song because that's definitely, like, a theme or an anthem coming through here for you. But, you know, the thing is, the whole thing is what people are really noticing in you is, like, that change in your energy and that change in your personality. People may be saying that, oh, Pile number two, their personality has changed. I'm hearing the word upheaval. Like upheaval. People like around you realize that you are changing. You are transforming. Your personality seems different than it was like five years ago. Um, people are realizing what you're worth. And um, yeah, people. some people may even be realizing that you don't mind being alone with that hermit card. Like you really don't mind it if, if you need to be alone. And that some people are realizing that you like to be alone sometimes. Um, people are realizing that you're rare. I did just hear spirit say that. And that, um, you'd also, I'm hearing that people are realizing about you that you don't care about what negative crap is going around about you that people are saying. And, um, there's a specific person coming through that is realizing that, um, you are not guilty of something that was a rumor or gossip that was being said about you that was not true by old friends or family members that you don't talk to anymore. These people could have been trying to sabotage your boundaries or make, you know, make you unhappy by like spreading rumors about you. But like other people are realizing that you're innocent and that the people that um, actually were spreading the rumors were actually the ones with the problems. Okay, so that was it. That's interesting. So thank you, Spirit, for bringing that through. You will know exactly who I'm talking about if this is going on with you. Like, people talking about you behind your back, but you're, like, kind of, like, disregarding it. Like, you kind of don't care, but in a way, like, it's not the most funnest thing in the world to know people are talking about you behind your back. But, like, just know that um, these people that are, because I feel like some of these people that are, um, they could either, like, to wear, like, they could either like to wear, like, I'm hearing, like, either some kind of, like, choker necklace or have, like, a pentagram t um, necklace or something like that. Or even um, possibly, like, gauges or a tattoo on their neck or side of their face. That's what Spirit is saying. Well, anyways, if that is you, because this is not going to be relating to everybody. Um, also, yeah, there could be somebody that's, yeah, very... Um, there could be somebody very obese here too, or who has suffered with obesity that is talking about you behind your back. But whoever these people are that are um, spreading rumors or gossiping about you, what's being revealed um, and realized by other people is that this gossip is just fake. It's not even real. These are just people that are trying to like th throw mud on your name or dirt on your name. And that actually you're, you're not, you are not, um, guilty of doing anything wrong okay so 
also my spirit is bringing through is that um people do realize that like a lot of people admire you and i think too that people realize that other people envy you because you know because you are gifted in so many ways you got people that like i said i started this reading out saying spoiled i think some people think you're spoiled because you seem like you have it all and you do bring out a lot of envy in other people. So people are realizing that, that, oh, you know, maybe that's why people are gossiping about Pile 2. Or maybe that's why they're spreading rumors because they're jealous, okay? So people know that. And <clears throat> people do realize that you're not the kind of person to take crap. You know, you're more assertive now than you ever were before. And you're permanently staying like that. <laughs> so in, just in case they were wondering, um, they can't play you anymore. And you are not a victim. And, um, so there's somebody here very specific that has just given up, okay? I just heard narc repellent, <laughs> like a narcissist repellent. That's your energy right now. You're like, nope, nope, not today. It's not happening. Like, somebody realizes about you that they can't play you anymore, okay? Um, no one can also make you do whatever they want you to do or control you anymore, so that is coming through. And another realization that people are having about you is that nobody can tell you who the heck you are or gaslight you because you are deciding who you are. You are giving yourself that love and nurturing yourself and discovering so many gifts about yourself and so many unique um, talents and traits about yourself and just exactly who you are without somebody trying to tell you who you are and control you. So people are realizing that you're living your best life, you know? You really are. Um, so, yeah, a lot of people, too, may realize that, like, you're being very focused right now on yourself and your career. And some people may call that selfish, but, like, really, who cares what people think about that anyways? Because you are very consistent in your work and you're non-wavering and you're doing a heck of a good job. So keep up your good work. People are also realizing that, like, yeah, um... Oh, spirit, really? Okay, I I just heard that, like, somebody's realizing they tried to copy you. Okay, there's somebody that is seriously, um, realizes that, um, they admire you and that they maybe unintentionally were copying you. That is interesting. People are realizing that, um, you're not somebody that likes to be copied. <laughs> um... You like your original originality and you don't like to be copied. You're not basic. You're not a basic person. You're very special, very unique, and you hate it when people try to copy you. So people are realizing you're not somebody to copy, but I do feel like there could be somebody that accidentally um, copied you and that might have, they might have realized that um, that was the wrong thing to do. And they may not have even apologized for it or like brought it up but they know that they were um copying you um and this person might have actually pulled their energy away from you as well spirit just said that is so interesting all right now i definitely want to see what else spirit has to say about um like what are people realizing about you that you may not even be aware of yourself so what I'm going to do is um, pull out some of these, okay? Whichever one spirit, you know, calls me to pull out. And we'll see what other people are realizing about you. This is so much fun. You are so talented. Many people admire you. That's why some people are copying you. <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry about the dings. Um, yeah, you are very talented and many people admire you and that's what they realize about you is that damn you're talented <laughs> More than they may have even given you credit for There's a lot of people that realize they're not at your level. They're vibrating too low They can't get up to where you are. So they may have just distanced themselves from you Okay, so if you had people that have pulled away This is why Also there's some people who realize that because, like, remember how I said that you go with your own flow and you don't, I don't know, you kind of, like, make your own rules. I think I said that in the beginning. Um, some people may wonder if, this is stupid, but 
if you've been in trouble with the law or something or like they could be like wondering i guess if you've ever like you know been in trouble with the law i think that's silly because yeah i have a lot of cards here i mean look at all these cards and the fact that that came through i know that's going to resonate with somebody out there but probably not all but there's somebody that could be talking about that you were um possibly in trouble with the law in the past okay that is crazy that is so weird if that is you you're gonna have to let me know about that okay i also just wanted to point out <clears throat> in the tiles i am seeing um special so i do think that a lot of people are realizing that you're very special and um i'm seeing like um I was getting popular for some reason. So even though you may be in the mood where you want to be alone, I feel like there are many people that wish they could be your friend. Um, but maybe you would rather be not have a large, large community of friends. Maybe you prefer to have a smaller group. So that could be something that people are realizing about you is that you prefer a smaller group of friends or one-to-one. -one. Um, as far as this goes, I am seeing Bohemian, um, and I'm seeing, I don't see a why, but I was hearing Bohemian style, so there could be something new about your style where you're including some kind of Bohemian look about you, um, possibly even, like, wearing some kind of head jewelry like this, like, on the, covering the third eye, that would be super pretty. Um, I can't tell you as if I've seen something like that, except maybe in different cultures. Um, but yeah, um, if you are doing that with wearing something on your third eye, especially if it's like a purple amethyst, um, you are really opening up that, uh, third eye area and also just looking very stunning. Okay. I was looking to see if I could find anything else in the tiles. I was seeing patchouli, so um, I think you smell very good. You could even use patchouli oil to, um, uh, I don't know, for different benefits. Um, people realize that you're very, very smart with, um, like, the, the perfumes that you choose. You're very smart, and you know what smells good. I'm sensing, like, you are into essential oils or something, and other people can um, see that you are smart about oils. You, you know different properties of oils um or at least you have a familiarity about the essential oils and yeah i'm definitely seeing like patchouli here and um i was hearing jasmine um lang lang i'm not sure how to pronounce that but that's what i was just kind of hearing in my mind i was hearing lang lang um and rosemary i'm seeing that definitely I'm seeing everything but the why, but I was, yeah. And, um, something having to do with peppermint oil. So, yeah, people realize that you have a lot of knowledge about, um, like oils or that kind of thing. Okay. And you have a lot of just interesting hobbies too. People are realizing a lot of interesting things about you just in general. Also, I'm seeing church in here. People could realize that um, maybe you don't go to church. Maybe you're more, you are more spiritual, but you don't go to church. So there could be people um, noticing that like everywhere you go, like out in nature or whatever, that can be your church. You're very spiritual wherever you go. You don't really need a church to call home or to worship because um, you're very spiritual and people realize that you know, I mean, here, look at this beautiful card. Nature is like your church, you know, and you're very, very spiritual, earthy, like I said in the beginning, very earthy and spiritual both. So you, you could be the type of person that likes to go out and meditate in nature, okay? And people realize that you're very, very unique, very, very special. You could have even liked to do this as a child, as a young child, go out in the forest and just sit and be alone and be by yourself. Anyways, my pile two, I hope that you have really enjoyed this reading today. Please let me know that you enjoyed it by giving me a like, commenting, and subscribing if you haven't already. 
I would love to have you be part of this wonderful community here. And if you would like a personal reading, I do offer those. Check out my description box below for all the information that you need in order to get a personal reading with me. And my prices are very affordable. Also, um, if you like 18 plus uncensored love readings, I do have a Patreon um, for those type of readings. So definitely check out my description box below for a link to my Patreon where you will find um, my uncensored 18 plus love readings. So if you like those kind, please join us over there. It's a smaller community and we have so much fun. Um, but if you do not like those types of readings, then um, don't join because I really don't think you would like it. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting that caveat out there for you. Um, and anyways, what else? Oh yes, if you would like to donate to my channel, that is never ever um, expected, but always appreciated. And you can find more information on how to do that within the description box below as well. Feel free to watch however many piles that you were drawn to because there may be multiple messages for you in each one. Much love to you all and until next time. Bye. Hello and welcome for all of those who chose image three or this lovely Botswana agate gemstone. You're in the right place for today's pick a card which is going to be all about other people and what they're realizing about you that you may not even fully be aware of yourself. So it's going to be a really deep dive. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is just set up some, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to set up some letter tiles here so that you confirm, can you confirm, uh, I can't talk, <laughs> um, your initials, your first, middle, or last name in the tiles to let you know you definitely chose the right pile for you. And I'm going to be rolling the astro dice as well. So that'll be another way to confirm, um, if you if you see your big three in here, um, or just one of your big three, this is definitely for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video so that I can set up the letter tiles and then we'll get started. Okay, so as you can see, I shuffled, or not shuffled, I shook up the jar of letter tiles and then I pulled some out, okay? And this is what we have here. So if need be, you can duplicate the letters or if everything's there except one letter, it still applies to you, okay? Um... I'm not going to be channeling names, but you can definitely, you know, look look for your own name uh, and or initials, and definitely um, be sure to be listening as I call out the astrological signs. You may hear your sun, moon, or ascendant, or maybe all three. We got um, a Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay, so you could see your sun, moon, or ascendant, or your initials, and both are wonderful confirmations. Okay, so spirit, please be here now with me. Help me to deliver clear, concise, and accurate messages to my pile three collective, all about um, what are people realizing about my pile three? that maybe, you know, they aren't even realizing about themselves. Ooh, oh my goodness. Ha ha, ha ha. I love it. <laughs> I, I, am, I am just gonna tell you this right up front. Okay, my beloved pile three. I've gotta tell you this because this is coming through people are realizing that you're very good looking and it's hard to look you directly in the eyes and people may avoid eye contact with you because of this okay it's very hard for people to look into your eyes because of your beauty so you may get some people that you wonder like 
okay, why are they not making eye contact with me? That is one thing that's coming up right away is that you're very, very physically attractive and, you know, you may not realize how much so, but other people are definitely taking notice and developing crushes on you, even if you're already in a relationship. It doesn't matter because this is how other people, you know, view you and there's definitely people who <clears throat> are realizing your hotness okay you're very attractive in so many ways all right also um i just think too that people are realizing that you also um are getting over something really painful and you have such a funny attitude like you really you have like such a sense of humor about you People realize that you're very spiritual. I'm seeing monk, so you could spend a lot of time like alone or meditating, um, talking to spirit guides even. Maybe you're very spiritual and you are a channel, a tarot reader. I am seeing that. I had that for pile one too. So if you were drawn to pile one, I would say definitely um, watch pile one because yeah, I think that you could be um, either a tarot reader or you have the talent for it, okay? And people are realizing that about you that dang you're very insightful okay you're very gifted all right um yeah i'm seeing like monk in here though that kind of cracks me up because people are realizing that you're very like prayerful or very spiritual but also i'm really really sensing too that people are realizing that um you have a sense of humor that has like carried you through your pain, okay? And um, your sense of humor is, it's like relatable to a lot of people. A lot of people think you're funny. And um, it's such a great, it's, it reminds me of like Jim Carrey. You guys know about Jim Carrey, how he's like, he's always the funny man, right? But he's also very, very spiritual. That's what your energy reminds me of. Somebody who's like really funny, um, but also, and very, you know, and very spiritual at the same time. I cannot ignore that we've got this, oh my gosh, I cannot ignore this. You're very, very sensual in your nature and very attractive. People become highly obsessed with you. Look at that. But people are realizing that even though they become obsessed with you, a lot of people are realizing they can't have you, okay? because maybe you're taken, maybe you're in a, a relationship or people just assume that about you, okay? There may be, maybe they are realizing that you're out of their league. You have really, you have like a lot of boundaries when it comes to, um, you know, like who you will date. I feel like you have, and other people are realizing this too, like that you're not just gonna date just anybody. You have um, standards, really high standards, and you're so in touch with your sensuality and your sensual nature. Um, you could be showing a little bit more skin recently, or maybe you ch um, you're choosing to wear like darker shades of lipstick, or you could have dyed your hair a darker shade, but there's, or you could be wearing like a smoky eye if you're a woman. Well, men are wearing makeup nowadays, too, so, I mean, this could very well ap um, apply to anyone who enjoys makeup, okay? But uh, there is a lot of feminine se um, sensuality here. And this is all relatively new, like, you coming into this power. And I love that there's a cute little bat here and a moon and... She's, she's got her swag on. She's like walking. She's very cozy. She's just got her scarf and her um, long cozy sweater on and she's just out walking in the moonlight and there's a bat over her head. Um, bats are a symbol of good luck actually and prosperity, um, protection. This, this is very interesting to me because what that tells me is that people are realizing that you are very protected and um, they can't get to your energy. Like, not just any Joe Schmo will do. <laughs> okay, you really do 
hold yourself in high regard and you really do have a lot of boundaries you're you're going after your dreams with the action card and um i just heard like nothing's gonna hold you back from attaining your goals and people are realizing that about you too that you know when you said you were gonna do this that or the other like you meant it when you said that you were gonna you know start a youtube channel like you meant it and you're heading for success with that too like or if you said that you were gonna lose weight well you're doing it or you did it like people are realizing that <clears throat> you keep your word and you have a lot of tenacity about you oh my gosh look at this i cannot make this up wow i've got to ring my bell for that so look here We've got the Two of Cups, which is about developing a crush on somebody and falling in love really easily with somebody. And then look at this. We've got love. You've got a lot of admirers, okay? Whether or not they're coming out of the woodwork to tell you or not, you do have admirers, okay? And people see you as that way too. They're real. What they're realizing about you is that you are very lovable and there's so much to admire about you. And I really do feel like people are realizing that they're in love with you okay this could this could be like friends with benefits or somebody from the past um realizes that they're in love with you or they're still in love with you okay your good qualities are showing i just heard people are realizing that you don't have very many flaws that they can really pinpoint exactly and also they realize that um yeah you're such a kind and gentle person like you wouldn't hurt a fly and you're such a gentle nice person um you can be fierce when you need to be but people just realize lately that like you're very empathic they see that you you can feel things um that other people are feeling self-sabotage Okay, that's very interesting, and I'm going to want a clarifier on that. Oh, wow. Beauty. Okay. That's very interesting. We've got take off your mask, self-sabotage, beauty, and love. This tells me um, that you got some um, admirers, but also some haters for your beauty. Just because you're you're having this huge glow up and you're looking more and more physically beautiful. I mean, like I said, like you may not even be aware of it, but other people definitely are taking notice. And um, some people are kind of like watching to see if you'll fail or like hoping in a way. They're, you see how they're like looking over her shoulder and they don't look very nice. Um, I am sorry to say this, but... Um, People are realizing that you do have some haters in your circle, okay? And that you may be um, being too nice to some of these envious people, like these could be friends, family members. And people are thinking that sometimes you're just a little too nice. And sometimes, too, what people are noticing is that you, you're nice, but like with this, okay, take off your mask. Some people are realizing that um, you're very empathic and that there's moments where you'd rather almost like be alone, you know, than actually out in public, like with big crowds and stuff. So people realize that like when you're out in a big crowd and, um, everything like that, like you almost have to become like the entertainer and it's not fake, but you kind of put on an act like everything's great. And like, you actually have a really funny sense of humor and you can, you can put on a great show like like i was saying like the jim carrey vibes i was getting like you can be the funny person the funny man or the funny person um in the room and like you can get everybody eating out of the palm of your hands but like some people may realize that like true down like truly deep down like you are actually very very spiritual and um they may think that you're wearing a mask that your social mask is one which you're putting on a show that you're very confident and funny and all that but actually it's not a show you're just very multi-dimensional you have a lot of depth to you and you have um a lot of different sides to your personality 
And, you know, you are very true, very deep, very profound, very empathic, and people are realizing that. So a lot of other um, things people are realizing is that your beauty is more than skin. I want to say it is, it's more than skin deep. Okay, that's what I was hearing from Spirit. It's more than skin deep. Um, it's all encompassing your beauty because you are such a beautiful person on the inside and the outside. So you're a true gem. And people are realizing too that like you're very committed, okay, to like what you're doing. Um, you're also like a lot of people realize that you've accomplished something that, you know, most people can't do in this lifetime. So whatever this is that you are doing in this lifetime um kudos to you lots of uh accolades to you because truth be told you've accomplished more and this is what people realize about you like i said you may not even realize how big of a deal this is but like other people realize that you have accomplished more in this lifetime than many other people ever get to accomplish in one lifetime you know so that really really shows in your energy the way you present yourself and the way you show up and through your actions a lot of people do really think that you're very beautiful and very successful for some of you you could like say you're going on a a water fast or something and like you actually have the willpower to stick with it and stick to your guns and a lot of people are realizing that like you don't mince your words. You mean what you say and you say what you mean. Um, you are, I don't know if you realize this or not, but like a lot of other people around you in your social circle are realizing that like you are somebody who is, I hear that Breakaway song by Kelly Clarkson. Um, I would sing it, but I'm like, not the world's best singer but i do feel like people are realizing that like because of this card what's giving me the impression is that like you may have had some like toxic family members or friends that wanted that were like they almost like faked to be a good friend but they were kind of like uh, a wolf in sheep's clothing um so that could be friends or family from the past who honestly like wanted to drag you down but people are realizing that you're rising above all that like the phoenix from the ashes and that you're breaking family patterns and like maybe you're the first in your family to actually like go to college or like first in your family to like do something with your life like in this huge capacity because i don't know whatever it is that you're doing you're really surprising people and i feel like you are breaking some family patterns or like ancestral karma or something like that People realize though that you can move on, that you don't you don't stay stuck. People also realize that like you're resilient and you're a fighter too. You have a lot of like warrior vibes. And that is something that adds to your beauty. It really does. And this is another re reason why people do tend to fall in love with you. And you've definitely got an, an onlooker who's um, admiring you a lot, a lot. You can be very feisty. Usually you're probably pretty happy-go-lucky. And like I said, you could put on a funny face, crack some jokes, and be very witty. But at other times, you can be downright feisty. And I think that adds to your beauty too. You know, and people are realizing that like, wow, what a unique personality you have that you can be um, almost like two sides of the same coin. You can be so different so very multifaceted but it's definitely not fake it's definitely not fake even though some people may think it is and some people are actually realizing that that is truly how you are <laughs> they're like oh wow file three you really are a cool person that's very very interesting you you do not have multiple personalities but it almost like you have different sides to you so that you have like that, you know, that monk-like personality where you're extremely spiritual, but yet you have, you know, the funny side of you and you have the feisty side where you can be downright scrappy. <laughs> um, 
it's just, it brings me right back to Jim Carrey because, I mean, whoever knew that he was such a deep and profound person, you know what I mean? Like, you look at him in, like, the movies like The Mask or Liar, Liar or whatever, and you just think, oh, he's such a, like, the world's biggest goofball, right? Um, and he's just wonderful. I love his sense of humor, but the fact that he really does have so much depth and, like, profundity it's just really remarkable, you know, and so he's very, very well-rounded and I just keep seeing his smiling face popping into my mind. So that's really like embodying your type of energy. Um, people are also realizing um, that, oh gosh, I was hearing like once, okay, so these people that you like, not to like focus on these people too much, but this keeps keep coming back is that you know how I said that like you're rising up and people are re realizing that you're resilient, you know, you're a warrior, you're rising up over people that want to bring you down. People also are realizing that once you like move on from people, those people are like almost like dead to you. Like once you cut off people, they're like done. Like you decide you're not going, there's no takesy backsies. <laughs> okay. No takesy backsies. Um, you're done. You're done. So people are realizing that they really have to cherish you if they want to keep you as like a friend or, you know, that kind of thing. They want to show you, they realize they've got to show you value. Because, you know, it's part of your strength and your strength of character and who you are. And also, I am hearing too, Spirit just told me that um, you're a very, very good gift giver. You give some of the very best gifts. They're so thoughtful and... Okay, I don't know who it is, but somebody's definitely got a uh, December or January birthday coming up here. So happy birthday to you, or this could be an anniversary. So um, in your family, but enjoy that and, and know that whatever gifts you give, people are, are really appreciating all the gifts you give because you're very thoughtful with your gift giving. Okay, it comes from the heart. Um. And I feel like, too, what Spirit is telling me is you put a lot of thought and preparation into the gifts that you give to people. Some of you even give, like, homemade gifts or, like, paintings or homemade jewelry and stuff like that. Just absolutely beautiful. Um, what else, Spirit, are people realizing about my pile three that they may not be aware of? Yeah, that your creativity is special and beautiful and that you are really held in high regard by so many people. And um, people realize that you look very successful without even trying, you know, very like naturally talented too with arts and crafts without even trying. Like you may be self-taught with your arts and crafts or whatever you're doing, this talent. You may be very self-taught could be musical, could be like your singing voice or a musical gift, but people realize that um, looking good and being successful looks effortless to you. And that is interesting. All right, now I wanna also use these cards to, to dig a little bit deeper. Um, I don't know why I also had to say this, I'm hearing the movie The Notebook, um, and I'm seeing it here in the titles. So maybe some of you have recently watched that, or that's your favorite movie. Um, you could look like um, Ryan Gosling or the main female from that movie. I'd have to look it up and see who that is. Okay, I looked it up and her name is Rachel McAdams and that's what she looks like. So what this tells me is that you could literally look like her or people think that you do or people are realizing that um, your energy is kind of like that of like a movie star. You know, you got like um, movie star energy. Um, also, people may see that or think that you look like a pinup style or um, 1950s era type of classic beauty. Okay. That's what's coming through. So I just had to say that. Now I want to dig a little deeper and anything can come out with these cards. So, um, you know, some of them are surprising. Um, some are positive, some are negative. It'll just be interesting to see what are people realizing about you. Okay. 
that you may not be aware of. So Spirit, help me to choose the right cards that reflect overall what are people realizing about my pile of three that they themselves may not be realizing. Okay. You are getting more attractive every day. Thank you, spirit. Yes. See, that's the whole, that's the thing. That's the thing is that some people have regret because they've let you go. They realized you're getting more and more attractive spiritually, physically, outstanding. Okay. And there, there's a lot of regret for letting you go. Okay. Because I am seeing regret in the tiles. And you could even see this person's initials in here that, is regretting this okay people are saying that um, you have a calm demeanor and they're realizing that about you too that there's more to you than meets the eye you know you seem funny you seem you know like the, the funny guy or the funny gal but you really have a calm and spiritual side and people more and more people are realizing this about you and also you are top tier People are realizing you are top tier, okay? There's, there's no one like you. And that is what's coming through for you. Oh, that was so much fun. I hope you really enjoyed this, my pile of three collective. Much love to you. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And um, if you want to see more videos like this um hit that notifications bell too so that you can be notified as soon as i release new content and let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting that like button and leave me a comment please to let me know your feedback and how this resonated with you because i would love to know i always enjoy um your feedback and your comments and i always respond to those all right um if you enjoy 18 plus uncensored love readings check out my Patreon. It's only uh, $3 a month to join. You can cancel it anytime. And it's so much fun over there um, if you like 18 plus uncensored love readings. So the information and the link for that is in my description box below um, for my Patreon. Also, if you would like, um, I don't know if I said this, I can't remember. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, I do personal readings information for that is in my description box below and um donations if you'd like to donate to my channel it's never um expected but always appreciated and um whatever donations that i receive i put right back into the channel to buy things like gemstones tarot cards oracle cards candles all that stuff okay okay Thanks again so much for being here. I truly love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Feel free to watch however many of the other piles that you were drawn to because there may be multiple messages for you within. And until next time, take it easy. Bye.